Hi guys, welcome back with me again in this channel. On today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily create a multi-language form in the Google Forms. So if you want to have a Google Form in a variety of languages, because for example, you are a teacher and your uh, class consists of um, students from many countries, you can use this uh, extension on the Google form to create a multi-language form. So what you need to do here is just click on this three dots icon and then tap on this get add-ons and the Google workspace marketplace will be open and now we can just click on the search column at the top and then just find pretty forms designer. This one you can click on the apps so by using this app, you can customize Google Forms with styles. You can create a multi-language form, inline math equation editor, custom forms layout and design, HTML formatting, and you can also insert custom button, table, and others. So let's just hit on install, tap on continue, and now you can just select your Google account, click on continue again, and then you can just scroll down and tap on allow. And then after that, just wait until the pretty form designer installed on the Google form. Okay, so now it has, uh, it has been successfully installed. You can just close this. And then here, you can just find the add-ons by clicking on the add-ons on, at the top. And you'll find a pretty form designer. Just tap on that. Here you can open form designer by upgrade, activate license, and manage form. Let's just open. Okay, so please choose a form team and click on set up, set up form designer. So let's just click on set up. Okay, this is still progressing. Form designer is opening the form. So let's just wait again. Okay, so in here in the form designer here you can design your own form. You can form uh, adjust the form style, the banner style, body styles and others. Here you can also go to the language selector styles in here. I'm going to click on show. So let's just click on Okay, here you can also adjust the language selector box styles and also the language selector box padding. Or you can also just leave it by default. You can see language drawdown show style. You can click on this drop down like this. And when you're done uh, changing the language and everything, you can just tap on save or you can also preview it first. So that's all for me. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and also click on the thanks button.